And hello and welcome to Q Sports International Pred and Predator presenting the Alpha Las Vegas Open. 192 players began playing 10 ball for a $125,000 prize fund. And this is day three. It's moving day, folks. Next 32 matches. Uh, actually, the 9 a.m. match and these 10.30 matches will give us opponents for the final 32 that are on the winner's side to complete the final 64 and begin stage two. This is George Teche and the booth bringing you a great match with King Dong Fan and Aleska Pichal. And in the booth with me is a guest commentator and uh, player himself, James Diajardis. Hello, George, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, you did some great commentary just in the past that I listened to a tournament on. And tell us about that. You've you played with Aleska and you, th you said you played with uh, Keen also. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've met him a few times and uh, I've saw uh, Keen playing uh, World Cup of Pool. They both seem to stroke it quite well, so this could, should be a pretty tight match. And obviously, only being two sets, it's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like uh, Aleska broke dry. Yeah, it's a bit tricky with this hand rack, isn't it? Which makes the game so much more interesting. And not, ol you know? not only the break, because uh, it's not as predictable as, uh, as the template uh, break, but the random balls yeah. also lay different, so you see more maneuvering. And also the short race makes it where, you know, a lot of players won't go for a, a shot that, well, I think if I make this, I can get out. It's you know? a lot more safety yeah. play. They'll safety play yeah. it, and so they'll, they'll work around the racks. You see moving a lot more than you would in a, if you were playing a long race to 10. Definitely. It's, uh, yeah, it's so good. I'm a, I'm a Raider, for sure. This is my first time playing in a, in a Predator event, mm -hmm. and um, I'm pretty gutted I haven't come previously. <laughs> uh, how many shootouts have you done? Uh, I've done three. And you've been successful in all three? In <laughs> all three, yeah. <laughs> first pre so there's a guy, I think, I think this guy <laughs> likes the shootouts. I think so. <laughs> and um, I practiced for about three minutes at home on it. <laughs> That's it? That's it. So you just like the shot? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's really... Uh, I shouldn't say it. It's, it's, it's really an easy shot, except for the nerves. That's right. And you got to kind of, you're going to kind of stick with your guns. If you want to shoot mm -hmm. it low outside, or if you kind of want to hit it flat, or maybe high outside, you know, you just got to stick to your guns and go with it, and be consistent and shoot it that way every yeah, time I on both sides. I think so. I, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Looks like he tried to bump the four in that first shot with the one, and then he kind of left himself hampered, bridging over those two balls. Oh, yes, he was. So this is where it's kind of tricky because the four nine isn't really—it's not wide, is it? So no, it's got to—it's got to be dealt. But the three ball is very accessible, makes the four yeah. very accessible. The two ball is in a funny place too. Ooh, it only it has one it pocket. Is. It's definitely um, so much more safety play, which is great. Uh, I like him going around these balls for a safety up on top. These the tables are playing beautiful as well. Are they? Yeah. You like them? Beautiful. Good. Yeah, Predator has done a lot with these tables. Mm. From the very first introduction, uh, they've made some changes and improvements and improvements and improvements. And this this stage of where these are at, they're playing very well. Yeah. Very, very well. Yeah, cloth, too. Beautiful. Yeah, because I never played on the first editions. Or okay. This is the first time I've actually shot on them. And yeah, mm -hmm. they definitely play nice. Bit of slide as well, which is good. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, of course, would be the cloth. Yeah. Well, and, and part of the slide is this brand new clock. You're playing on brand new equipment. It's great to play on equipment like this. Uh, oh, it's beautiful. It's such a great venue as well. And, uh, of course, uh, you're playing in the Predator World 10 ball. Uh, the tables should be playing just a little bit tighter. A little bit that. tighter, yeah. That makes it nice because I'm watching some shots go in that really the player didn't make. Mm. The pocket's accepting it, but the player didn't make the shot. Yeah. What they're doing great, I think, is, um, or I don't, I think I actually believe, is actually they're cleaning the balls before every set and they're passing each match a brand new set, well, clean set, which is good. That's great observation, mm -hmm. and you're right. I, yeah. I really think that every tournament player, every match should have a clean set of balls. Definitely. And maybe even the table wiped down. I think so, it. yeah. Uh, you, you're, you're, you paid an entry fee for yeah. it, mm -hmm. and a big one. 100%. Yeah, this rack's a bit funky. Uh, I think you just cut this into the eight and take the cue ball around again. Or does he have po does he have pocket to make it? No, he did. He had to go around. Didn't quite get enough out of it. Yeah, he has to get some speed. He was short on the last one too. Mm. To get to the top there and move over. Because see, I, with 
that wall of balls on the side, that left rail on the side there. Probably had to juice it up maybe a little bit more. Yeah, could be. These are never fun slow rolling though. I don't know about you, but I don't like them. Um, nowadays, I, I, I slow <laughs> roll as bad as I, f <laughs> I, I take a full stroke. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I think he tried to turn it in with a bit of left, maybe, to miss out in 10. Oh. They're just so funky. I, I, I think everyone hates them. I don't think anyone likes them. Little funky shot, long yeah. shot. Well, the real, well, I will say, one of the things I do notice, and, and, and I've asked a couple of players about this, and this is a good chance to ask you the same question. When you're slow rolling a cut like that, it's kind of a real thin cut, and you slow roll it with a little bit of English, the softer you shoot it, is it kind of, uh, does the cue ball move more on you? Yeah, so it's definitely going to swerve. Okay, yeah. and yeah. exactly. And I see those mist a lot more yeah. that way than, than they usually hit thicker. Yeah, I always aim hair fatter on the ball, for sure. And then it depends on what cloth you're playing on the ball's conditions as well, because it could turn more, could turn less. That Those are all great points. Yeah. This is why it's, it's great to get a player that, uh, oh, hello. That's a bit of deflection there as well, with slippery balls. He went right into the eight. Mm. Yep. Shot it. Yeah, that's the old, if you hit it on the left side, it's going to go to the left side first. Especially in that short distance. Oh, I'm sorry, it's going to go to the right side. Yeah. We got that wrong. Same theory. Well, that 79 looks okay now, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it was the four that was there before. Yeah, that's right. That's looks right. looks yeah. better now. Looks much better than that, but with the four there, that he won't, he won't leave the seven there. Well, he's going to have to because he's got to come back for the five. Mm. Unless he wants to go off of it and, and risk the side pocket. Let's wait and see. Yeah. A little bit extra draw with the clean balls. Probably didn't want to be this this wide well, on it. You know, if he shoots this kind of soft, he, he won't mind hitting the seven. Mm. He opens it up and he and it sends him right in the right position for the for the five. I like it. Like that. Great shot. It's nice. And a 30 second shot clock on the main table. 30 tables. second shot yeah. clock, one extension per player per rack. And that comes into the 64 now as well, I would suggest. Uh, so. Everything stays the same except that we're in stage two. It is now single elimination, but so is today. If yeah. they lose today, they're gone. And what it is, is instead of you're tied after two sets, it goes to a shootout. Now there's a third set. But. If the third set is tied at three games, it now goes to a shootout. So I like you get it. six more games. I like it. Uh, it really improves, and, it, and it's it's what's been asked for, and this is why yeah. it changes. I think the players were suggesting that a little bit as well. Yes, exactly, and, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what uh, Predator and CSI have done is is they listen to the players. I mean, if you stop and look at the the the, the profile here for Predator and their business plan here, it's built for the players. I mean, they produce products that all the leagues will buy. CSI brings the leagues. Predator brings the product. And uh, they work together. Mm. Short side here? I don't like short side, but I don't he like does. It. <laughs> it all depends on your feeling there, though. Mm. If you're feeling good, you try to get into the upper side. Yeah. If you play this good speed, uh, yeah. the, the pocket's quite generous. In this last match, actually, I just watched now Yuki Oi play that shot just like that. The short side on the 10 ball. Mm. Missed it. Ooh. That's but probably why you yeah. suggested it. Well, no, I, I don't like that long shot down no. the rail. No, if it's off the rail, uh, noise always was on the rail. First yeah. first rack goes to King, though, and stole Ales Aleska's break. Race to four. 30-second uh, shot clock, as James uh, noted earlier. Three-foul rule is in effect. It's winner breaks. Our referee racking the balls. And it's a uh, 115 second extension? Uh, I was no, it's 30 second extension. Oh, 30 second 30 extension. second extension. Yeah. And they have 60 seconds after the break. So, yeah. so for instance, uh, I like to say that when you, know, when you break the balls, you have 60 seconds and not, not 30 seconds. So plan, plan your rack. Uh, in just the last match, in fact, uh, uh, Jim White says, work your plan your rack, work your plan. Is Jim here, is he? Yes, he oh, is. He, he's just not, he's feeling a little under the weather, oh. so. I'm off sending uh, the message. Yeah, he's here. He you worked with him at uh, just the last match, didn't you? Uh, no, no, no. He, no? he knows a couple of good friends back in Adelaide who used to play snooker with him. Oh, okay. In the, in the back in the day, so. 
Oh, back in the day. Yeah. He's not that old. He's no, young. He's, he's quite still young. A young man. Yeah. He's good. He's lovely, Jim. I haven't seen yeah, him for a long good, time. Yeah. yeah. I uh, actually, when I first came to Vegas, did my first uh, uh, world uh, ten ball. Oh, cool. It was with Jim and uh, uh, JJ. Yeah. No. Keen breaking the balls. Let's see where he breaks from. Oh, smacked him. Nice. Getting results. It would be interesting to see how many dry breaks there are, if there was a stat. A and where they're from, where yeah. they're putting the cue ball. Side, middle, Side, exactly. cutting them maybe a little, trying to make the one. I think it's a good viewing perspective, seeing the players crush them mm -hmm. and get peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting peanuts yeah. there. Yeah. Sometimes if they're hungry, they might break dry on purpose. <laughs> He's going to go around these and uh, end up for the two. Pretty nice. I think he has room. What do you think? I think he's just got room. Yeah, with that body language, it looks like he's yeah, just he's floated in. Now, he might go short side here. Yeah, I think he has to. Or is he going to go around the eight? He can draw in between the eight if he wants. I guess it links to the four nice. He can just play stop yeah, shot here. Then exactly. he's got the four on the side. And then he's got stop shot connected to the five as well. See, one of the things about this, James, is I don't know how to use a side pocket. <laughs> yeah, I love them. <laughs> you love them. They don't work for me. I missed two in that last match, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's working to it. Wouldn't the Rex open up nicely now? Oh, yeah. I think right this is his key shot. Definitely, yeah. Just wondering where he's going to play the six. Maybe uh, same pocket as the five. That's what I would try and play. That's where I would play. But potentially, you could play six in the right side as well. But I don't like that. Yeah. Now, see, you can just stop it there and now go to the six. He could have followed all the way yeah. to the rail and come around. And then two rails the underneath. Exactly. Yeah. Well, now he's going to have to play long, long here. Um, Twice across. He could. I think he can check it and go between the six and nine. But he's going to go twice across. Nice when it opens and up a little bit off that long row. And what I, w one of the things I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of differences on, on, on players and their ages mm. going twice across yeah. instead of uh, maneuvering the ball Babying around. it a little bit, uh -huh. yeah. But if you watch the Filipinos, mm. they still... They like to spin it. They like to spin yeah. it. They like to spin it. I think I like, I like the twice, twice across on this table because it's a bit slippery. It, and that's, yeah. the, that's the reason for it. Mm. If you're playing on a club table, then probably exactly. that spin is so much easier, isn't it? Oh, it grabs off the rail. Yeah, you just have to touch it. Yeah, because if, if you use inside English on, on these shots, uh, sometimes it's not gonna it's not gonna react the way you want. It's Get more respond. deflection. Well, not only deflection, it's gonna spin on the rail and stay there. It's not coming off. It's like a burnout. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Would have liked to get a little bit more up table on that one. But yeah, it should be okay. That's one of the things, I, reasons I can't use side pockets. If you don't get just right on them, now you have to run the cue ball. It can be in trouble. Mm. With no angle like this, it's yeah. harder to run the cue ball. That's right. He's got to pound that, doesn't he? He does. Didn't play with enough English, really, to use that long round, but it should be fine. This, this should be fine. Yeah. And game number two goes to Aleska. And they're tied at one. Pretty fit man, isn't he? Looks like he works out a little bit. Yes, he does. We'll go to a one minute break and be right back. shot this is. There's a highlight shot. Brilliant if I ever shot. saw one. Brilliant shot from Roland Garcia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this is a class in kicking from these two and jumping and positional play. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well played. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. No, cue ball. He's all right, and he's got a shot on the two. Great shot again with that jump stick.
And we are back to the live action with Aleska Pichal breaking the balls in rack number three. Tied at one in a race to four. So we've got two dry breaks so far. Two dry breaks. Oh, you know what? That, we will keep track of them, see what happens towards the end of the game. I'm just going to put the dry breaks right up here in this corner. One, two bites. We want to do it by player. It, just, it doesn't matter. Just yeah. two dry breaks. I did forget my pen and paper. I apologize. Not a problem. Yeah. Um, you can, and you can take another one as well while you're there. That's take three. another one. It's another three. dry break. Because <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I only made two balls out of maybe eight breaks. Uh, wow. Maybe even one, to be honest. One or two. And, and you know, with in 10 ball, you figure if you hit him that hard, something's that's gotta go. solid, <laughs> something's got to go. It's like eight ball, hey, in theory. Because I think the the linear linear inches by the, by the size of the pocket is about 5% or 7%. You should be able to make a ball with 10 balls. Yeah, and that's a beautiful shot. He swung that around nicely. He's landed plump. Hit that nice low left, long, short, long to land good. I do agree, though. Something should go. Yeah, in, you something it? should go, especially <laughs> when you... It, 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 but sometimes you'll watch three balls kiss each other and keep themselves out of a pocket. Look at that four, for example. How does that not go? <laughs> <laughs> especially on the slick table. That's right. And now these opened up beautifully here yeah, after that lovely open shot. Yeah, half the four is hanging in the pocket. Mm. Meanwhile, he could even be tempted to land short side here. You know, play the cue ball down mm -hmm. to the short rail, maybe touch the long rail as well. As long as he avoids his six, I like it. You kind of punch this in as well and use the mm -hmm. fat side of the pocket. Oh, he's not going to use the rail. He's going to go around it. So just like the set. Yeah. It's going to bounce a little there. That's nice. He's lining it up nice there. You've got to try and hit that long rail, don't you, as well? He's got to make sure he doesn't get behind the 10. A little bit of draw sends him mm. towards the 10. It's, it's gotta, dangerous. He's got to hit the fat side of the pocket as well. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he put enough on it. Cute and <laughs> nice. He's got a smooth action. Mm -hmm. Nice acceleration. Yeah. Keen is 43 years old from Vietnam. Said he started playing. He's been playing pool for about 20 years. Uh, he plays with the Dragon Q, which is made in Japan. Yeah. You're familiar with him? No, I've heard of him. I haven't okay. tried him. Oh, he's landed a bit funky. Oh yeah, he's got a thin cut on the seven. He's danger in the corner like, pocket. Yeah, it was like one of those shots. It's like it, it, maybe you try to zone it instead of think side or corner. You know, the one you like area. Yeah. See, this is one of the reasons I see some players, and I agree with it. A lot of people hate it when players point to a certain spot, <laughs> but it helps you visualize yeah, 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 where I you're agree. going. And so you're going to go to that particular spot instead of that area and end up where he did. That was a funky shot. Twice across with inside, never easy. Uh, no, especially with speed, too. Oh. So it's, it's, uh, it, this game can be a bit tricky, right? You know, he's got a ball over the hole of the six. Seven's open table. But if you don't get shape, it's tough to get shape in your next ball. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's why rotation is beautiful to watch. Totally agree. I just wish um, there was more of a two-way involved in 10 ball. For instance, uh, if you make the 10, you win. Off the break or just in open? No, not on the break. Not oh, you're just in play. open play, you're just saying? Just in open play. And yeah. it, it does count. Early 10s count. But, I mean, if you're playing the two ball and you have a shot at the 10, and you call you can call them both. Mm. That would That's that would that would put an interesting spin on things because never thought of it. Uh, I used to play it that way. Oh really? Yeah. You know, hot club rules or whatever. We, yeah, we yeah, yeah. So so uh, we play like nine ball. If it's by itself, you call it. If it's uh, if it's like this, you can call them both. Mm. But if it's off the break, it's just respot. No, it's yep. just respot off the break. So I yeah, I like that. It's interesting. And Aleska takes the second, the third game. To lead two to one, but yeah, that because one of the beauty uh, the beauty of nine ball is you know the two way shot, things of that nature. Yeah, uh, and you don't have that in ten ball. You no. got you know you're strictly governed by the rotation. Yeah, it's um, yeah, I don't mind it because the two way shot is huge in nine ball w when it pops up. You know, <laughs> it gives you another out. Mm. I like to win cheap games. Yeah. <laughs> Save the energy. That's right. You know, race to eight. I don't want to have to run 80 balls. 
<laughs> you just got to make more of the break. It's not straight pull. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> just got to snap him better. <laughs> I'm a little older, so I don't snap him as well as you <laughs> young guys do. Well, I don't know about me. I only made one or two balls. <laughs> And these guys are struggling as well, so I don't think age has got anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, is he going to side it again, or is he going to come in the middle and try and crush him? Well, now he switched sides now. He was on the left, now he's gone to the right. That's, uh, he's, he's observant. Did no success, move to you find success. Especially in such a short race. Oh, no, look at this, we got a ball, so I don't get to put one on the, on the list. You can save the ink. And he's got a shot. Mm. But nothing, uh, two ball is awfully tough to get to. Mm. Yeah, anywhere on that long rail on the other side, he might have a shot. Not anywhere, but bulk line sort of. Yeah. Head, headline. He's got to be by the nine. Could go twice across and sort of, sort of land here. Have a straight in shot on the, um, on the two. You would check uh, twice across. He'd have to land on the rail. Yeah. He's going to get there. Yeah, it's nice. But this is a bit funky to get on the four now. Yeah, it's a small window, but it looks like he has just the angle he can fall to the, bo the, 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 the bottom and come up. He might even just play stop shot. Side. And play it in the corner? Yeah, or maybe screw mm -hmm. and maybe draw into the eight and then play the four um, past the nine. I like the draw into the eight. Or even draw draw out. You can draw out you if you like it. Back, yeah. Yeah, nice. Very responsive to the table, isn't he it? Was, uh, that mm. cloth is very responsive. Yeah. I, li I like that. Mm. And to tell you the truth, I've noticed on the Predator cloth, the inside English grabs a little when yeah. it's brand new. It still does, In other does, tables, yeah. it doesn't grab at all. No. If you go to Simonis at home, it does, doesn't want to do uh, it. Yeah. I mean, I was born and raised on Simonis. Yeah. I mean, they've been in business for about 100 years, so mm -hmm. I think I was one of the founders. Um, yeah, that um, yeah, that's that draw shot on the two. If that's the monus and it's heavy, it's a tricky shot. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Well, the monus is real responsive when it's new too, yeah. especially for little draw shots like mm. that. It's very, very responsive. You try to draw three inches, you end up going ten or twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely played on it more than me. Oh, I've been playing pool twice your age. I've been playing pool for fifty-five years. It's close. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Speaking of age, this young man you're watching here from uh, Serbia is 22 years old. Euro champ from Turkey. In Turkey. Sponsored by Predator and Kupanya. Kupanya is one of the biggest pool halls in Europe. You ever been there? No. Whereabouts? Um, in Serbia? Kupanya, si Kupanya City. Okay. One of the biggest pool halls in Europe, you said. Hmm. They have, I forgot, he gave me the number of tables and I didn't Ooh. write it down. He's good for the eight. Yeah, I don't know if I would have jacked up on that. I would have played it high left, me personally. Because he was flirting with that corner, digging at it a little bit. But he's in good shape. Oh, yeah, he's. Especially now for a 10. <laughs> looks like we got 3 1. Yes, it looks like that. I want to look into this pool hall. Sounds, if it's the biggest, it must be quite good. I'm assuming so. He says they, uh, they, they, they have the biggest tournaments. Yeah, cool. So, three to one, and we'll go to a one minute break. Back to the live action. Hope you enjoy the little uh, sponsor shout out. We have to pay the bills. <laughs> so Alexa makes a ball on the other side and then he comes back to this side. Interesting. 
Well, he says, I guess he says if one side works, the other side works too. Let's see what happens. It, ooh, I was going to say he made a ball here too. You got that pin ready? Uh, I got it ready. Here it goes. See, that's interesting. I would have stuck with that same side after making the ball. I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, until, uh, unless something changes, I, I don't need to find change. Yeah. If I'm being successful. And we got clusters. All over. Do you find when you break from, from the side, the balls end up usually on the same side you're breaking from? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, because... Yeah, um, right there. Yeah, because when I play eight ball, which is obviously similar breaking mm -hmm. style to ten ball in, in theory, I like to use second ball. Just okay, just second ball break? Yeah, just okay. what I'd say was at home, because they don't break so good, they're a bit sticky. So I like to clusters and whatever. And yeah, there's so many balls that just flow to the long rail. So who's going to win the safety exchange? The safety exchange? Well, uh, the Vietnamese has, has been lacking speed on some of the safeties he's mm. played already. He just killed uh, the four into the seven on that short rail up top. So we got a cluster on two sides of the table. But he can hit this real soft and hold the cue ball right there on top of the nine. And he, uh, he, took, a, he took his little extension off of the shot. Trying to spin oh, it. He's gonna, I like this. He's going to leave an opening. Does the cue ball go between the three eight? His speed control is a little bit better. Th and that's yeah. where that's where I was leading. I but and I was going to say I haven't seen Aleska's speed control. Yeah, it does go right between them. It's called the bank in the low right pocket. <laughs> He's asked for an extension. He's going to re maybe rethink it. I like the safety. Mm. Maybe you can't see the side though. Maybe yeah. Maybe it's kind of full. Yeah. It yeah. Might, it might be a full hit. Yeah, it was a pretty full hit. There. Yeah. I think if you called the corner, he was saying, well, if it goes, I get the free. Mm. It doesn't matter. It's all going to come down to this four ball up table. Mm. But, I, I don't yeah, think it, it shoots. Like a shot, no. nah. So it makes it tricky to where you, it makes it very important where you get on the three. Mm. It would be nice if the two was the three, then you've at least got to connect it and <laughs> kind of shoot at it, but it, that ain't the case. A good point. <laughs> good point. It's a nice hit. Uh, it very, uh, it really is. I like those kicks when you catch the two rails and it just cuts it right in. <laughs> Slide right out from position and it looks so good. Yeah. Well, you got second prize when you just kill and stick it. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm old school. Uh, that kick and stick, like on the top rail, I still use that. Nobody else does it anymore. <laughs> you try to spin the ball around. That's a nice hit. And the three ball is going to come to the body. Mm. So no offensive shot that I can see. No. Pretty similar shot to that first shot that he played behind the five, right. maybe. Go two rails to get there. Yeah. No, but he's just going to go one. And he just got it a bit heavy, didn't he? Yes, he did. See, I, I shot it a bit quick, though. He did. Uh, yeah. I would have gone to the, in the opposite side of the ball and let the ball hit the three and brought the cue ball around. Yeah. I like that. Again, doesn't shoot. Yeah, he shoots you. Yeah. I think he's playing the carom. No, he's playing the safety. He's going to put the cue ball right behind the six. Well, you see, well no one's in any hurry, are there, in this no. rack? <laughs> no. Uh, as long as they take their shot in 30 seconds, yeah, the time block doesn't matter. Could you um, could you shoot the 4-7 combination? <laughs> no. You not, could. It's not very tasty, but... Uh, it, it's close enough, and yeah. if you get good on it, it's easy enough. Mm. Get, yeah, it's all about the shape. How good are the Predator lights, just quietly? How good? Are they? They're great. <laughs> they, they, look, they, they look great, don't they? Yeah, they, they look fantastic. And, and when you see five of them, uh, oh, there's actually seven of them over the, over the table, and folks, you'll see the reflections on the balls when they rack them. Uh, they look fantastic. Mm. Or uh, you can see them down on the six ball, especially. Put him right back behind the six ball. That's so a good return. I didn't there. like it when you did that. You uh, didn't gain much out of it, did you? No, that's right. Either that, I didn't like it, so you must not. No. That's a great return. 
Well, it looks like he has room to get around it. Look at this. Well, but not to where he has to go. I think uh, I think Alexa would be thinking of free fouling, yeah. With the way the balls are, mm. why not? Yeah. Where can he bump this one and hook behind the five and get in a position where he can three well, foul? If he wants to really three foul successfully, he's got to hook him real good. Mm. Uh, this is not my forte. I'll just say uh, it right now. Right here. <laughs> if you get the cue ball. Well, right move. here, actually, I would get on the other side of that one ball and stick it right on top of the five yeah. and push that one ball down by the six. So you can't jump if you're up against the five, oh, and that yeah. bank is tough. Or get on, get up by the side pocket and bank it uphill, up to up table, and just put him right up against the five. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I like your ways for sure, but he's trying to bump it towards the four. Well, so he can open it up Maybe, if he yeah. gets ball in hand, which is another. It's it's, it's, it's yeah, it's more the attacking yeah, way, isn't it? As long as he's up against the five, it doesn't matter. So this puts him on two. Yeah, or three. Uh, this will put him on two if he okay. misses. Yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely going the attacking route instead of the three foul route. Mm -hmm. And if he gets ball in hand, he can open up the. Well, I'm not sure if he opens up the the four seven. There's no shape on the deuce. Mm -hmm. And this is where the 30 seconds you get a bit on tilt quickly. You don't see your lines. Ah. Do you play on the clock much? I love it, yeah. Okay. See, look at this, running around. That's and that's, it, it, that's exactly oh. what it produces. And he says, open the two in such better position for shape, ball in hand, and opening the four. Well. Much better where it was before. Yep. I think so. Uh, let's see what you can do with this one ball here. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can just open up the four and have a shot on the side oh, all day. That's a game changer. Because he can follow off the four, put the, put the cue ball on, on the bottom side over here, yeah. clip the four, and bring the cue ball to yeah, the rails. Yeah, a bit of running in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Run off the four. Oh. I feel like you got to I, I feel like you got to shoot here. Oh, no. I feel I'm shooting there, too. Oh, you I'm shooting there yeah, all, yeah. all day long. you got to be shooting. you got to make so. balls to win. But he could, he, he could have nestled it maybe a little dig, digger, a little deeper, but I really hope he hits this. This is a tough, tough hit, the two-railer. The ten balls in the way to get to the side and the three balls in the way for the natural two-railer. Looks good, though. He's going to get it from the back. Oh, oh what a great, a great shot. shot. What a great shot. James is clapping. It's a great shot. We're I shouldn't be sorry, I'm commentating. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good hit though, right? We're 30 feet from the table. <laughs> <laughs> He's judged the slide beautiful to miss yes, the Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And it's tough to judge it that good oh. on that type of a shot. And, uh, and not only the, the shot. Rails. Yeah, the shot yeah. before he, got, he tilted right and he belted yeah. it. And he could have done the same then, but he composed himself great. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like Alexa could have shot a 3 1 up. Oh, I would have shot that yeah. one ball all day long. Mm. Maybe three one down, don't shoot. Maybe? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I would have shot it regardless. If I, yeah. if I was down three zero, I would have shot. Yeah, still shoot it, yeah. Because not only that, the eight, nine, ten. Everything nine. opens up, everything's yeah. opened up. I will. And the two ball was pretty much hanging where it is. Well, he's opened it a little bit. Now you can uh, get where the two ball is and maybe have a shot. In that line anywhere. And this is where the, sh tough. This <laughs> the short races are great, right? This is where uh, the short races are great. That's action packed. That, uh, yeah. that, um, it, it, it's funny. I, I thought that the more players, when this first was conceived and I first got a look at it, I thought more players would be breaking and running for uh, the sets out. Yeah. They're not. Not, no. with, a hand, not with a hand rack. No. I don't They're think not. it's even happened yet. Um, Maybe Shane. It, it, I, no, I think. I saw Mario He win, I think it was in Wisconsin, um, in the final, and it took him about 15 minutes. <laughs> but at that time, the 10 ball counted on the break, and he uh, made two of them. Oh, look at this. That's a beautiful jump shot. I missed it. I'm sure we'll get a replay. Ah, thank you. Oh, look at the draw action, just missed three as well. Beautiful shot, and he's got good shape. Well, now we know how he jumps with a good stroke. And he can kind of kill this one as well and land good for the four. Yeah, he just has to come off just a little bit. Perfect. I think I'm making Canada when you set. <laughs> just the way the... It, 
you know, it's kind of opened up a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Well, you asked who's going to win the safety battle. Uh, he was played safe more on than, than Aleska, so uh, I think he won it. Yeah. Now, can you finish? Can you close out the rack? Can you Would you want to land, like, real down on the short rail here or just leave yourself high? If I, I don't mind coming all the way down and laying it on the rail. Yeah, because you have to land. But frozen. if you land, yeah, exactly, he's perfect. Yeah. He's perfect. Just because that slide's mm -hmm. tricky when you're kind of full, isn't it? Now, here's my, my question to you. Do you uh, risk using the rail, or you just slide straight up? Yeah. Oh. That's why I, that's why I risk. That's a good kiss. Good bump. Because a lot of times you shoot that, especially in the speedy shot of that, there's a pocket down there. I reckon Groupy Cloth, I would have slid up table, mm -hmm. just used the side. Mm -hmm. uh, on this cloth, I would have tried to land in for the seven in the top left. Right, on, yeah, yeah, on the just, opposite just side. Just baby stroke yeah. it in, yeah. You agree? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, there's a friend of mine, Phil Ferrante. He owns a restaurant down in Tucson, Arizona, sitting in the back there. Yeah. Uh, a good friend. He said he was going to come up for the day and, and get some of the tournament down. That's awesome. There he is right there. There's Phil and his wife. Lovely. What's the restaurant called? Uh, El Cisne, oh. which means the swan. So that's fancy. because it, 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 it's a fancy, uh, it, it's a great Mexican food restaurant. Are we going tonight? It's in Tucson, Arizona. I don't know how far that is. <laughs> Six hour drive. Okay, maybe not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Keen has closed the gap. Two to three. And we're going to get more play. We'll see him break again. Um, he made a ball on the break, breaking from the side. And we'll see if he goes to where he was successful or if he changes. He is actually, you as you watch him walk across the stage here, he's actually a, a senior pro golf player years oh ago. Oh, really? Beautiful. He played quite a bit in Europe and uh, loves to play golf. Yeah. Loves to play golf. Do you play golf yourself? Twice a year. <laughs> hey, golf's a beautiful game. It is. Same mindset as pool. Yeah, similar. Definitely. Very yeah. similar mindset. I've known several golfers. They were, you know, pretty good golfers uh, that love to play pool. Let's see if you're going to need your pen again. We are. Yep. It's as dry as a desert. Yeah, it's. We, we, know we got five breaks. Five drive breaks, and we have uh, five games. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, no, it's, uh, five drive breaks, six racks. Yeah, six racks. Yeah, so one. Uh, this was rack number six. Yeah, so exactly. only one mate. And no one's banking from the center because they're probably too scared to open up the table, aren't they? Well, at the on the last match I just commentated with uh, Jim White, uh, that's where the success came from. Yeah. Yeah. From the middle. From oh. the middle. Mm. And the balls were responding, breaking towards the pocket, you know, towards the side pockets like they usually do with a temper rack. Yeah. Which tells you it's a good rack, very good rack. Definitely. And I think that's why the players want to, some of the players want to check the rack and, you know, they're not allowed. Mm. But um, just to make sure that everything's there and see if it's predictable. This isn't the weather. We don't need to predict it. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, well, we're going to get another safety exchange here. And that's a very good safety. I didn't ask him when um, when I interviewed him. And his English was kind of, uh, it wasn't real good. But I didn't ask him if he was a billiard player. He plays well, it's quite, it's quite, um, it's quite very big. It's very big. I mean, in Vietnam, Vietnam, exactly. Yeah. That's what. I, that's what. That's. What I think the best player, in number one in the world, is from there. I think. I believe so, Sanjin. Yeah. I, I think, think so. Sanjin. Yeah. He should be around uh, that's here someplace. A, that's a beautiful shot there. He's yeah. played that well. Yes, he has. From behind. It's sad when you have to jump to a bank shot, to a kick shot, to hit the ball. But that's a great shot. It's well great controlled. Shot. Everything. Good speed as well. Yeah. Solid hit on the one. And he's left a full ball snooker behind the ball. Yeah, he's got a two rail kick at it. And he showed us a great two railer earlier. Yes. Out of the same two rails. Well, if somebody gets a look at the one, the table's quite open. 
It's kind of whoever gets first dip. Mm -hmm. Kind of whoever wins the safety battle. I think so. Yeah. If you catch this one half ball, you can get a you've got a good you chance to get again. Oh yeah. Getting a hook back. Yep. Two rows, bit of running. Oh, it's going to leak right for a shot. You hit that nice. Mm. Maybe a hair more speed? Uh, a, hair, a hair less ball. Yeah. Hair less ball would have been perfect. The seven nearly wants to kill the five, but it's open table. Time for Alexa to close out the rack. Mm hmm. Well, here's where it opens up. 5-7 as long as he just needs to get over by the 6 for the 5. Yeah, the 4-5 four four to, four to looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I was, that's uh, yeah, exactly. Where's um, where's good shape 5-6 to six now? Where are, we, where are we thinking there, sort of, where the cue ball is now? Well... In I, I would right where it's right right where it is, and then swing it around. Swing it around with inside. Yeah, swing it around with inside. Exactly. Wait a minute, you're the pro player. No, I'm a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the commentator. <laughs> I just come here for holiday. Okay, that's Vegas is a good place to come for a holiday, especially. Dangerous. This <laughs> CSI exp uh, uh, yeah, for sure. Expo. Yeah, I'll be coming next year, definitely. Uh, how do you like the setup and everything? It's beautiful, three, yeah. Yeah, it's three ballrooms full of tables. Jeez. What do what isn't here that's pool related? Mm. Yeah, last time I came to one, I came to VNA was to 2014, eight years ago. He could also go straight across and play the six on the side. I think he's going to play six on the side. Needs more speed. Just okay. Yep. Probably didn't want it to spit like yeah. you know burn out on him too much. Just wanted to float it in. A little funky though. You might, you might have to go up to the short rail with inside. You reckon? Or go long short and try and punch it in. With I like would. I would just cut it in and um, take the take the distance. Try to roll it back to the middle of the table. Yeah. I think I think I feel I'm feeling off the short rail here. Good play to the corner. Mm. Only but needs like a little bit of inside, really. He scored the inside. Oh, he oh, can't play in the corner. He can't see it. Yeah, a little bit inside. But yeah, just take the distance and, and yeah. Uh, it's a stop shot for the eight. Looks good. And this is to to take the first set. Got to make these four balls. Just overpowered it a little bit. Yeah, he did. Well, he just straight in shot to the corner. He's should be out here, looking good. The thing about it is that cue ball's traveling away from the nine, unless he travels it back. And he's digging at it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's digging it, so he's coming down to, to take short side on the nine. Yeah, I wondered, because uh, as we mentioned earlier, we don't like short side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all about speed on these ones, exactly. isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, here you can let it speed out here. Now see, when I don't, what I don't like about sending it down the rail is if it's on the rail, I don't like it. This shot, I'm okay. It's yeah. It's okay. If it's I, off I like a little it. bit, it's yeah. okay, yeah. And see, this isn't this isn't where it funny and it, he can just use one rail, you know, or hit the two rails. Doesn't have to go back and forth. And he can use the um, he can use the long rail for the nine to pocket yeah. as well. So because the tables are playing nice at good yeah, speed, about seven inches. Yeah, you can hit three inches before the pocket and it still goes in. Mm. Nice and smooth. Oh, well, you just held it right there. That's how smooth that was. Mm. And to win the first set. Yeah, I prefer to play like that. Do you prefer to play? I couldn't In tell. It, it looked like the yeah. first, the first uh, view yeah. looked like he had more angles. So yeah. he had to, he had to come. But after after the way he played it and, and saw that angle when he played it, I agree. Mm. Definitely agree. 
We'll go to a one minute break and be back with set number two. And we are back live with set number two. And this is Keen Dang Thon Keen. He got here by defeating Jake Solman. He lost to Eklund Kachi that put him in the one loss side. And then Rise Chen, he beat him. Paul Ewing. And now faces Aleska Pachensky for a shot for the top 64, final 64. Um. I think we need another tick as well. <laughs> I'm, in, I, I'm intrigued because yeah, you, you, you they've broken majority of the times of the left side as we view it, mm -hmm. got and dry, and the only one time they've made a ball is from the, the right side, and they've still stuck with the other side. Uh, the two times they made a ball, because both players have made a ball. Oh, correct. Sorry, yes. And, and yeah. they both made it from the right, from mm -hmm. the same side. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Stubbornness. They forgot. <laughs> now Aleska has only played two matches. He lost to uh, oh Yulong Chang is here. I didn't know that. I hadn't seen him. And and he uh, I'm sorry he defeated Yulong Chang and lost to Mika Imanen. Well, I guess there's no shame in losing to a player of a decade, huh? No. So we're going to get another safety exchange. Alexa's oh. pushed out to the um, top right pocket here. Actually, we talked about this, about the, ha the hand rack and the, and the moving part, yeah. of the part of the game. And we're seeing a lot of it here. Definitely. Are you going to shoot at this one, or are you going to let him shoot? I might play it off the three if it goes to the side. From this angle, it looks like it might go that way. I'm going behind that, that clump of balls on the bottom. He's going to find himself locked up pretty tight here. Yeah, that that uh, eight, nine, ten, five. Mm. I'm just going to slide right off of there and try to find a home there. Below this? Yeah, below. Maybe go into the three. You want to bump the three a little bit, don't you? Oh, he didn't want to bump the five. Yeah, they're always a bit tricky when they're close yeah, together. Yeah, exactly. You, you, you always. Stuff. Well, yeah, they're not fun. I don't like them. I, I <laughs> actually like being that close. Yeah, or well you can get above it a little well bit. Well, number one, I can see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're not going to uh, miss it. <laughs> you, you're not going to. Hopefully, I'm not going to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> you can use more spin. Yeah, definitely. Uh, with more accuracy. Is he going to try and get where he is now? Low right. Uh, it's a bigger landing area, but at first glance, I like getting behind those two. Get like yeah, yeah, I love tight. Yeah, I love this. We well, shot at it. He shot at the one. Well, well, he, sh well, he felt he could make it. And really, if we, if we look at that, well, we're not going to look at that. If we look at the shot again, it's not a bad shot. No. Because he's got position. Well, he doesn't have position. He got behind balls. But. Bit of a uh, nice result there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like I would have liked to get it behind the two. Big, big mm -hmm. target. Take ball in hand. And that's the type of. See, I play a lot of one pocket. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, so that, yeah, I play different than these rotation players do. Uh, those little two rail shots behind the ball. Yeah, very, com it's very common very for common. one pocket. Yep. Yeah, and you tuck them up behind, behind the, the two ball. Uh, was that time foul? Uh, that's what the bell means. Oh, he didn't call an extension. He did. It was a time foul. No. Oh no, he doesn't get ball in hand. So no. no. 
It must have been a, a, an error on the, on the clock. Okay. It does that once. It, it'll do that. That's, well, that's a nice hit. Mm. Not a good result. Yes. Well, from what we're seeing, uh, he looks like a three-cushion player. He has kicked well. Mm. Yeah, so. And a lot of times being like in Vietnam or if players from Mexico, where they, uh, you know, that's their major game is, is, is uh, billiards. Yeah. Whether they're a top player there or just a pool player, they're going to play three cushion. Definitely. It's always going to be a part of exactly. your. Exactly. It's going to be part of your repertoire. Yeah, definitely. Or your skill set. Yeah, so, so what are we feeling here? This is a uh, one of those little dicey ones. Well, this is one of the little dicey shots, but mm. this shot could be spun in with a little bit of right hand English. He can drag it and just go past, use two rails to get on the four ball from the same corner. Yeah, I love this. From the same corner. Just like that. Good speed as well. Lovely shot. <laughs> See those little spin shots that, that, mm. I, that I I love use. those shots, yeah. I, I love playing with just this half of the table. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I reckon if I hit a flat, I might miss it. So that's why I got a spinner. <laughs> well, but again, remember it's new cloth. It could, mm. depending. But when you're used to using that kind of spin, you're in good shape. And he's opened up the rack to his liking here. Now, see right here, I would not mind drawing this ball into the six and pushing it to the pocket. Oh, yeah. Although he's real, s it looks straight. I think when it's I first saw it, yeah. it looked more of an angle. Now he can just lay it on the rail, so it's fine. I think, yeah, I think it's a little bit shorter than you think. Yeah, yeah at first I thought there was a little angle. So oh, I he's got a little bit there. Yeah, he's got a little bit there. But no, that's, that's the shot all day long. I think it's a little nicer being low because then you don't have to worry about the arc off the short rail. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of let it float up table. Yep. It would be nice to get an angle where he, he can, once he gets to the eight, where he can just maybe bump into the 10 and have the nine on the side as well. Yeah. Or just get real close to the eight to make it makes everything real easy. Just perfect shape. Yeah. And he's, he, can, he can have it here. Mm. There's a little bit of right-hand English uh, when he cuts the ball to the left corner and he'll be right in line with the Two eight. rails? Two rails, yeah. yeah. All day. And he won't need to bump the 10. He can just stop it for the mm. nine and it's just a follow, follow. It should be perfect, I reckon. You've been watching a lot of re westerns? No. I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon, yeah. <laughs> it's common in the Aussie to always play it inside. Well. Yeah, I would have preferred to play outside for sure. Now he's going your route. Yeah. Either rule's fine really, isn't it? Inside, bump it to the 10. Just outside, stop shot. When they lay like this, there's nothing wrong with bumping balls. Don't hate it, folks. Bumping balls is not bad. Well, he bumped a little harder than I thought he might, mm. but he's straight into the corner. He comes straight back for the 10. Yeah. Pretty common, uh, pretty similar to the April that he played in the last mm -hmm. rack. Same pocket, same little draw. And for the first game of the second set, Alaska yeah. pockets yeah. the ball and an unmissable 10. He's looking uh, looking better of the two. Well. He is looking better of the two, but Keen uh, looks good too. Mm. These short races are very unpredictable, I feel. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Um, for instance, uh, in our last match, uh, Kang Lee played Naoyuki, Naoyuki Oi. He's a 7.35 Fargo. Kang, uh, Kang Lee is? Kang Lee oh. is. And uh, N Oi is 8.13. Mm. So by that, in a race to eight, uh, Oi should give him two games at least. Uh -huh. you know, And they were even on games, and he won in the shootout because of the short race. Yeah, there'll be a lot more upsets. Yeah, in fact, he lost 4-2 the first set, and he wins the next set 4-2. Hmm. So they're exactly even. And I use him for an example because Kang is very familiar with the equipment. He travels with uh, Pro Billiard Series. Yeah. Uh, he plays billiards and uh, they, they, they uh, do all the billiard cues and 
to work on the tables. He's here for the tournament also. Yeah, he's yeah, he's a good so shooter. He's no, good a lovely guy. Oh, he's a great guy. Yeah, we had a few he's good a chats. Guy. He's good. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to play him in three cushion. No, he seems pretty handy. Uh, <laughs> well, let's just say that I know Kang well enough that uh, if well, most of the guys I know will want to play him three cushion, I'll back him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say I played my first uh, one pocket money money game the other night, uh -huh. and I um, haven't played three cushion money game yet. Because we, 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 we definitely never play one pocket in Oz, okay. in Australia. Where did you play uh, uh, one pocket Griffs? Yeah, Griffs. Yeah. Okay. And speaking of Griffs, you know our hearts are pretty saddened here in, uh, in Las Vegas for everyone here with the passing of Mark Griffin. Definitely, lovely guy. Great guy. I've known him for. 30 years. Yeah. It's a lovely room and not too far as well from here. It's a great room. Five, ten minutes by drive. It's two miles. Yeah. Could even walk. I have walked it. Mm. When they uh, when they had the, they hold the US Open uh, next week, eight ball, weeks. ten ball and one pocket there. And I've commentated most of them uh, years ago. In the early mornings when they started the nine uh, when they had them in the summer, I'd walk in the morning. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'd just walk it. I would drive. Yeah. Yeah, we've walked it most times we went there. Mm -hmm. A couple of miles. Yeah, I agree, Rube. Slightly overplayed that one. Okay, he's got... Uh, would you go underneath it here? Spit it in with a bit of right and go no, underneath the no, ball? No, I just, I, I just go ahead and come down and shoot it in the, in the opposite corner, just like that. Is that what you meant by underneath it? Yeah. Oh no, okay. I was thinking more oh, use along. Oh. I thought it was a bit thinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. but it's actually no, fatter. Yeah. Start right there and just come right over. It was laid natural. Mm -hmm. If I look at the table and I see a shot like that, to me it looks like it's a, that's just a, a natural just lay. Just floating. I just, I'll just float. I don't have a problem floating the balls. I know a lot of players don't like to float balls uh, due to the fact that I've tried to play a lot with only half the table. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it. He's going to have to get his strike out here a little bit. He's going to come straight back. I think he's going to go towards the side pocket. He's going to come straight back. Nice. Looking good to make a 1-1. One, one. Where are we thinking uh, to get shaped for the 7? Where's, where's a good linker? Just uh, off, the, off the side rail, go to the middle, just past the middle of the table. And then use a couple out to get back down for the 8. Yeah, yeah, you have a lot of room for the 8. Now you can run straight down the right-hand side rail because he's got just the mm. angle for it. Just, just hit about the middle diamond, right where he just aimed. Lay his cute over and to come straight in line for the for the eight. Yeah, he's just trying to lay his strike out a little bit. Yeah, we can lay it out here because it's just line shape, just like that. Now here he just comes right, just straight to it, just a hair left. Well, that's the example you were saying earlier about people pointing. Yes. Mm. That, uh, I see two, oh, my Lord, he missed the ball. He can't believe it. I can't believe he missed the ball either. No. But the point is, to me is it's, it's not that I'm trying to tell you what to do. is so that I can visualize Visualization, it. yeah. Exactly where I have to go. Mm. Yeah, he hit it flat. You just, yeah, just poor oh bit my. of poor aiming. I've got to feel for him there. He's like, well, I do, you <laughs> do. Because that's, uh, that's just a, uh, I don't know if that's poor aiming or taking it for granted. A bit of both, yeah. yeah bit Definitely of both. for granted, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the shots. That's, that's painful. When the shots, <laughs> the shots got to go in. <laughs> that was a tough one. Because it was natural shape as well. Yes, it was. Everything was natural. I just get it past the ten. And it's now he's two games down in the second set instead of being tied. That is hurtful. Mm, that's painful. Ouch! 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 One minute break and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, folks. In case you missed it at the beginning, James Gio Jardis in the booth with me. This is George Teja bringing you the live action from the CSI Expo and the Alpha Las Vegas Open. So um, we've got many sponsors for this event. We've got a few, like Q Sports International, Predator Group, Alpha Coin, Kamui, Cybrits, Village Supply, Medalla Light Beer, which we haven't had samples of, and Rums of Puerto Rico, which we haven't had samples of. Well, I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be back. I'm a bit thirsty. <laughs> uh, actually, very thirsty now. <laughs> well, he broke close to the middle. He broke from the right side and made a ball. I thought he broke from right up here. Oh, it was the middle, was it? Yeah. I caught it last second. Oh, perfect. See? Well, that's a much open table, isn't it? So I don't have to put a mark on that. Don't need the pen. You know, I, I'm dangerous with a pen like this <laughs> because I, I, I have a habit of clicking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and can it hear comes it. Across, it comes across on the microphone. They've got me several I times. Like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I liked him shooting at it, though. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And that's the shot you're going to shoot at all day long. In fact, I'm surprised he missed it. Mm. But I was going to say, it's an easy ball to miss when you're really putting some pace on it. Yeah, I love him shooting at it, though. Yeah. It's a tough shot, but still. Oh, when, yeah. you, when you make it, you just got to feel gutted in, in the chair. <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh-oh. Shape stopper. Thin cut, I'll take it on. Yeah, I think you got to. Yeah. Y you can play safe behind eight and nine, but uh, I, I do like attacking. You can bump the three on the way out potentially as well. You know, I, d I didn't even look at the, because I, I like to attack, and so does he, but he's not going to have a second shot. But I like I like shooting that shot. Yeah. But once you mentioned the safety tech behind the eight nine, I really like that too. It's a good shot, but yeah. I think so it depends when you're not feeling it. Do you feel like just laying yeah. down or do you feel like shooting? I don't know. After looking at that again and I look at it one more time. Safety was pretty accessible. The safety was pretty accessible and if you hit it, you can hit, you could have hit that pretty good and laid the two ball close to the 10 for a combo maybe. Yeah. If you get ball in hand. That's another thing that you, you, you got to think of. Yes. Oh no, I, I, I like doing that. If I look for chances to do that. This, yeah, the slide, trouble. yeah, the slide trouble. got in there. Here. Try to spin it in, caught, yeah. it, caught it a bit okay. thin in the pocket as well. He's in trouble here, but he's two games up. In a short race. Yeah, that's right. He's halfway there. Yeah. Halfway home. You know, that yeah, that's um, a pressure relief it, to a sense. Oh, definitely, yeah. But can also be a detriment in the fact that you get overconfident and you give up too many, mm. uh, too many opportunities. He's tried he's to... Yeah, he's trying to hook him, hook him behind the eight and nine, and he's left an edge. That's all he needs to make it. It's Living on the edge, the kind of, <laughs> kind of like shooting the spot shot, folks. Here at the the CSI Expo, we'll sell you the whole seat, but you only need the edge. Yeah, good to bump on the ten. It's nice. Uh, we've got to get these. We've got to get them. Got to get. We've got to get these out here. When he lets his stroke out, it's nice to watch. I'm sorry? When he lets his stroke out, he looks... He looks good. Yeah. He looks solid. But, uh, you know, since he uh, missed that eight ball, uh, it just doesn't look the same. And he is coming up. Nice right. speed. He came up perfect. Yeah. He came up perfect. I was going to say, he's coming up short. Because I thought that was going to check. He's a nice flow play when he's on. I like his flow. You know, this is the second time that, that, that he got behind, and when he comes back to the table, he's shot, like you just said, mm. with a nice flow to yeah. it. Yeah. So in other words, like, I don't know if he's thinking, okay, nothing to lose, just fire yeah. away, or and he tightens up and he tries to be perfect, or not. And that's what it is with him. Yeah, because the eight, eight in the last rack. Look how nice he's landed here. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It, yeah, yeah, when he's in flow, I mean, he's, he's yeah. great to watch. Yeah, maybe the eight ball, you just should have maybe flowed it more instead of trying to be maybe a little too precise and then, then like you said, he got slack. I mean, there was two ways to play that eight ball. You could have you done played it the way he did. Could have spun it in and as well. Could have spun it around the nine. Maybe you should have spun it. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, you can use. That's one of the things is you could use the more forceful stroke, mm -hmm. which makes it a pure stroke. And he seems, like that night, he could have probably drawn back like three, four inches, but he kind of let the stroke out using high right and using, mm -hmm. using the rails. Maybe that, that's his game style. Def or maybe it's just the nerves. It's true. Our referee racking with the arrow rack, as we, as you noted earlier, and the, they have been played on Apex Pro pool tables, covered with the Predator Arcadia Performance Cloth, Arco's Balls, and of course, light it up. Beautiful arena with the Predator Arena Vineyard Lights. We've got seven, seven of them over the table, lighting up the entire arena. It looks good. It's a good look it. Our, uh, Table Table One, which is streaming, also has the LED uh, arena border. Looks fantastic. Mm. All right, looks like we're stepping from the middle. Oh, yes, yes. Watch those two balls behind the per the one ball. Six and seven, and they both missed. One went short. One went long. Interesting. You don't see that very often, do you? Usually, if <laughs> one goes short, the other goes short. Yeah, not this case. But it all comes down to the hand rack. Anything can happen. Exactly. Yeah, usually like on, when the template, uh, your speed determines whether they go high or low, but they rarely go you know, one short, one long. But offensive shot on the one, you think? Yeah, I like it. Should miss a six. Lovely. Well, I'm just trying to see what, if there's any issues here. Not anymore. No. Three to four, and then five to six. Really, five to six probably is a little bit tougher than three just to four. Just follow this ball between the five ten up to the three to the side. Or does he take it to the corner? Nah, up the side. Yeah. It's a little more pace would have been nice. Does that fall past the nine top right? I'm or not sure. I'm yeah. not sure if it does. If it doesn't, he can he can influence that. He can draw just a hair between the six nine and play the four in yeah. the same corner. Yeah, I like that. I mean, draw. in that in that corner. He could even maybe flick it in the middle and spin it in between mm -hmm. the in between the four six. Well, that's right. Yeah. 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 Yep, nice. Are we, so, obviously he's got good shape here. Mm -hmm. In terms of the five to the six, are we going to go underneath the eight with low left? He's got a little, he's got to make sure he avoids that nine. If he catches that nine ball, is he real straight? Or no, he's got he a little, angle? he's got angle, yeah. So he must make sure he wraps it out of the corner. Mm. Not Punch it in. If he hits that nine ball, he's going to the pocket. But, you know, he's people try to make sure they're avoiding it, but sometimes they, they just nibble it. And he missed the ball. And Def overplayed it. Well, he wanted to make sure he missed yeah. the six. And he he, want, he, miss it. he hit it pretty hard. He yeah. To, like you said, he overplayed it. I, 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 I believe Shane plays those ones where we kind of just punches it and he makes the cue ball jump and spread open. Exactly. Yeah. No, actually, Shane puts a little bit of inside English on that so that that itself just moves it past oh the ball. Oh, okay. That just a that. hint of inside. And that's why I like jumps and squirts <laughs> over a little bit. Because I don't, I didn't believe he had to play it at, at that speed. Oh no! Yeah, and, and he didn't smooth it either. It no. was, it, it was pretty punchy actually. Yeah. Well, will it be costly? Is the question. And by the looks of this, yes. He's got a nice angle to go to the seven. Could he be tempted well, to short go side? To, he's going to go short side. Yeah. yeah. Seen a lot of short side, haven't we? <laughs> We've, they've both been playing it. He's all right here. Float down table. Yeah, and actually, he just he'll float by the. Will he go under the ten or above the ten? No, I think you just. I think you just roll it in, and then take the cut on the eight. Uh, look at the angle coming off the seven. Can you land in line with the side pockets? And you got a good enough cut on the eight. That's good. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to get close, do you? If I want to see it, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's going to punch over. 
Yeah, see, that, that's where I was thinking. That 10's a big bowl. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was saying, are you, is he going to go underneath it or above? He got a good kiss there. I think um, I might invite him to go to do some gambling after that kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how did you play your first one pocket game? How'd you do? Uh, I played the gambler. You know the gambler? I don't know his full name. All I know is his nickname is the gambler. I don't know. No. He plays at Chris a lot. Um, oh, I got rolled. Just played one frame, you one rack. Oh, just yeah. Roll, yeah. And then we played ten ball, double quits, and I got him. But yeah, no, I had no idea. <laughs> I think people were laughing, and I was laughing as well because I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> well, we're tied at two. Looks like we got a little toilet break as well. Yeah, it looks like I'll Alexa's going to go for a little toilet break. Uh, oh, and okay. we'll be back in a bit. We'll be back in a little bit, folks. We are back to the live action, except that one of the players is not in the seat yet. So, looks like we got a bit of time up our sleeve. Yeah, Keen is not going to break the balls until his opponent and the referee <laughs> racks them. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got two-two now. We have two to two. Could be a costly miss. Uh, that four into that that uh, uh, top left pocket could be. Mm. That, that is a huge miss because now this. Well, he'd be a three. He'd be a, th a three-one. Looking good too. Yeah. So very costly. Miss. So, could you explain that foolish angle on the four when you mentioned that Shane uses a hair of inside to kind of mm -hmm. squirt the cue ball over to miss that object ball? Well, when you when you hit it with just a hint of inside, mm. it's almost like a stun, and it Slides. immediately opens up. Yeah. It comes away from the ball, mm. and that's all you have to do to avoid. But the nine that was there, yeah, because you have you have to avoid it. You just have to move it. What maybe a quarter inch? Not much. Yeah. That's all you have to do. So instead of instead of using a punch stroke or maybe potentially jumping the cue ball, there's no, there's no need to do that. You much. can use just the in little bit of inside. Because jumping the cue ball can get your little draw coming off of there, and mm -hmm. you're over to the side to the corner pocket. Yeah. Where instead you can use that hint, hint of inside. Yeah. And then yeah. Well, have you ever heard of C.J. Wiley? Yes. Okay, C.J. Wiley professes. He says you know. Hint of inside on most of your shots. Mm. On oh, most of your shots. Well, yeah. it's shots like that, yes. Mm. Where they make sense. Yeah, interesting. Might have to give it a go. I think I've tried it a few times, but mm -hmm. now, y you know when you kind of forget something a little? With that, it's like a little touchy shot. Mm -hmm. I never, well, this many years ago, I never used to use uh, uh, much inside English. And then I uh, started watching the videos here and there. Uh, we got to where I was using a lot. Of, well, Burt Kinister, you ever seen his tapes, sir? Yeah. Uh, he uses a lot of inside. Yeah. Send to the table. 
And that's when I started using a lot, and I got real comfortable with it. So now a hint of inside is pretty much. Yeah, it's not. Nice. It's, it's nice. useful. I will. Breaking from the middle again. Let's see. <laughs> now the last time the six went up and the seven went uh, the six went short and the seven went long in the side pockets. Come to make a bowl. Maybe you can find the middle. Both went short. And and we got dry. We have a pen to use. Mm. It looks like the ladies are about to start as well. Yes they are. We'll have the ladies tournament. Sixty four ladies were signed up for the Las Vegas for the Alpha Las Vegas Ladies Open. Have you got a pick for that one? No, I haven't. I've looked. Yeah, yeah actually, I, I'll pick Chow all day long. Yeah. She is just cream of the crop right now. The way she's played the, the way she played the World Ten Ball in yeah. Austria, and the way she, uh, I'm tell, I'm sorry, but the way she took down Alice in, in that final of of uh, the last uh, was it a nine ball? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Was it eight or something? Yeah. Or something like that. The way she took down Allison didn't give her any opportunities. That was just outstanding. Play. Yeah. She would have beat 95% of the men that are here on that match. Definitely, yeah. Um, so it looks like we need to get good on this three to get good on the four. And it lays very nice to get good on the three. They'll come across. Again, I just spoke of Burt Kenister. Uh, Burt Kenister, get to the middle of the table. Just go a little bit past it, just like that. That's why he professes the middle of the table for shots just like that. Slightly overdone it. Because he has to get to the left side of the four instead mm -hmm. of the right side. Exactly. It's a bit funky now. Doesn't look like he can play a carom or a combination anywhere near the four and nine. Yeah, because he can't keep the ball there. It's got it's gonna go towards the middle. And he doesn't have enough angle to go all the way across and back. So potentially he might just be making this and playing safe. I don't know why he's gonna come down. I, I was going to say go to the corner pocket with it. Because mm. he's got a long, to play it in the side, he's got a long way to go. Yeah, he might Can't play in the corner and play high right. Uh, high right, actually center right, and kind of get a little bit high mm. on the ball. Yeah. And use the nine. Yeah. Cut it down to the corner. Because he's going to hit the nine if he uses looks it. Looks like he's playing in the side. Yeah. See, I would have rather hit the nine. Kissed off the nine and gone up. Oh, nice rub. Nice bump off the cue ball there. Yeah, I definitely like your shot. Using, you can play it softer and then yeah, you can use the exactly. nine as speed. Yeah. Yeah. But you reckon center right or like yes. center high? Well, you have to get it rolling so you want to center high, exactly. Yeah. Got a nice little and bump there. And it, it would have gone right into the nine, right? I think yeah, so, yeah. yeah. It looked like it. Mm. And you only really need to touch a long rail for it to go up mm -hmm. table anyway. Mm -hmm. Try and get cue ball behind yeah, the nine. Right. Especially on the slick table, mm. exactly. Yeah, that's what he's doing. It's he's hit that gorgeous gorgeous. speed. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. It's even better than gorgeous. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah. Has he won the six? Though? See that eight ball blocks his his kick shot. I think he might see an edge. Yeah, Good. but no, he can't see an edge yeah. there. He might jump it. He might even be able to make the six. You don't think so? Uh, if he hits this. Oh, uh, actually, if he hits it, it's going to throw it the wrong way. You know this better than me. I think he's called it. I don't know. Do you reckon it's going to throw wrong? Uh, it, it goes this way, yeah. yeah. Your balls are lined up this way, so, yeah. He's got to hit. He's got, if he can get back here, it from throws, it throws yeah. the right way uh, from underneath, from the rail. Right, let's see Softly. It would have to be real soft. Let's see. But this is sliding. So big pocket though. Yeah. It slid in. Slid in, yeah. Keen's a little bit. Yeah, he's got to be yeah. guarded to leave Look that wide. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, I always. It, it's funny when you have a little combo and you, you play off of it. I always look at the other ball. Mm. I just watch yeah, it. That, yeah, that pocket just golloped that ball, didn't it? Yes. Oh yeah, that. He, he could have hit another <laughs> three inches out and probably gone in. Can he play this in the side and just land on the seven? Or bump into the seven arm? Uh, I'm going to try to get behind the ten here. I would stun draw it behind the ten, two rails. Yeah, you try to bump him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was thinking about playing the seven there. <laughs> yeah. From where the cue ball oh, was. Yeah, yeah. I got completely off on that shot. <laughs> long day, long day. 
No, I actually glanced away from the, from the bar for a second and then uh, looked back at it. And See, with that shot there, I would have I would have liked coming off the short rail more because at least the balls are going up table. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you agree. Oh, he's going to put this in a nice place. Although, this is why uh, you want to get up close to your object while you're playing safe behind. You because freeze it. Yeah, you, you, this... The guys are so good with the jump cue now uh, that, that this is not this is a hanger. All these young, uh, all you young guys, <laughs> this is a hanger. Looks, point. looks like he's kicking though. I reckon I, I would be jumping. Well, that, if he's kicking, that answers the question about whether he's a bigger player or not. Mm. He made a nice hit on it. He's left a long shot and off angle. A little off angle, but it's still it's it's workable. Well, he was, he could even play, I, th I think he might even be playing safe, but he's got it, he has to attack, has to attack. Nice smooth stroke here. Oh, he's hit a good, hit a great, hit a beautiful, You're right. Needed a good stroke at that one. Especially at this juncture. Well, this is pretty much match ball. You called it. Dead center English, nice. straight across with the cue ball. Beautiful strike. Nice speed. You know, when you have a shot like that and you shoot it just the way he did, it's almost a hard ball to miss. And you feel good about it. Yeah, though. exactly. Mm. You feel good about it because you keep the you keep the cue ball on the string and it's going exactly where you want no it. No English. No English, just nice straight away. And this is the same shot, only he doesn't have to hit it as hard. So this is to make it into the 64. Yes, it is. And Mr. Keane goes home. This is the second time in Vegas, and he's going to go out and enjoy it. Well, maybe we got the score wrong on, this, on the screen. I had it at 2-2. Two, two. Well, the screen says 3-2. I know, and that's, that's what I... I guess he uh, jumped the gun. I'm putting it on, the, uh, on there. Maybe. He, okay. Yeah. Now, now we got an issue. Yeah, we need to go see this person, <laughs> and we need the Powerball numbers. Because you see, th this is what I had. I had a two-two, oh, yeah. and and then I looked at the screen and it said three-two, and then he pocketed the ball, so I put my three down, and so I was correct. See, pen and paper never loses. Rarely. Rarely. So Computer, you can click it wrong. So who's doing the score? Because we need to know the future. Of what's going to happen. Well, we won't, we're only <laughs> around for one more, two more games, maybe. <laughs> Three more games. Well, here's Alec Aleska Vecel from Serbia. Come across a long way. But I want to see a su uh, shootout, George. Someone's <laughs> complaining back there. He's saying something to him. Maybe he was saying the score as well because there's a screen be. there. Yeah. Yeah, it did say three too. Time to cross. Cross cue ball. He's dry again. So many dry breaks. Oh, and well, the two five. It's not a. It's a very playable combo, but it doesn't have to go. Hit him, nice puck cue ball. Mm -hmm. No, he's he hit up hit him all real nice. Mm. Yeah. He, Plenty of power. Um, I th did he scratch points? Uh, I think I th so. I'm not sure, but I th I, it just came into my mind that I think he scratched one. So, but uh, cue ball is in good shape. Probably would like to be a little bit closer, but he's got a good chance to make this five. And the two ball is probably good. If he hits it pure, it's going to stay there for a shot. Mm. If not, follow it in. Beautiful. Stay right there. See, I get scared playing him at that speed, but I reckon it's better to play it at that speed because then the two doesn't move, like you said. It kind of sticks there. Mm -hmm. Especially with the speed, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you deliver a better stroke. Definitely, yeah. All right, now we're going to get some good shape here on the three. 
Yeah. Sorry, on the see, four. I, I float this yeah, just nice left. and soft with just a just a shade of left or just a little bit of draw. Draw. Yeah. Just a little bit. I like playing a little bit of both. Just enough to make sure I don't land on the rail. Instead of going back and forth. This is why. Yeah, I different. I would have liked to spin it. And even if you land low, you can play up and down table for the yeah. six, right? Well, I was going to say, actually, the way it ended up, it ended up better because if I had floated it, I'd be over here. Maybe a little to too the right. full. Little, uh, I'd be on the wrong side. Yeah. And now he's ended up with well, played in the side. He comes right down for the six. The only danger here is getting behind the ten. Yeah, it just need enough right on this one. Nice. And better not bounce. Oh, he's perfect. Well, he's, he's straight in, but you know something? When you're this close, you can cheat it just a hair. Mm. Especially, oh, he's, he's got angle. Yeah, come up table for the side. Yeah, he can play it to the corner, come up table for the side. I, well, he went to, yeah. He did the old point trick, so I, I was one, <laughs> a step, one step ahead. I was still trying to figure out if he had angle to go <laughs> that way. Well, this is big. He, needs, he needed this because uh, this will tie it up. And now we'll see who handles the pressure better. All of a sudden, it just the pressure just mounds on it. it it's, it's just quadruple. Mm. Because this is for their, you know, it runs these three balls. Uh, it's whether they're either going to stay in play or if they're going to go to the hotel room and just uh, <laughs> lay around for the next week. I want to see a shootout. I'd love to see a shootout. Mm. And this what this gives us. I really am interested in watch, watch uh, King uh, in the shootout. So... My question is, how do you play the shootout shot? I play it with just a hair above center mm -hmm. and just hit it pure. And I catch the, the rail right about the third diamond yeah. into the middle middle diamond on the head rail with a nice smooth stroke so it barely gets to the top rail. Oh, it's not even to the top rail. Okay. No, I, I let yeah. it get there, but I don't want it coming off more than the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like nice floating speed. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, because if it, it can scratch on the side. Of course, yeah. You get you get overpower it because you're anxious or whatever and hit it too hard, it yeah. could. Depends on the rails as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I've actually, uh, to me, that's the best way to shoot it. Yeah. I, I've seen some success with wrapping it out and hitting it real firm. Uh, I have seen some errors where they hit it to wrap it out at warp speed. <laughs> yeah. If people play it different ways, but I think that's the most successful and most cons you can be the most consistent that way. Yeah. Because it's just a quarter ball hit. Mm. I mean, I know I've said this to people about spot shots, but when you're aiming it, you can almost aim your cue stick, the middle of your cue stick, right at the edge of the ball. Mm. To same contact, like Shane's, yeah, like exactly. Shane's style, how he yeah. aims, yeah. Aim, aim right, use the, use the cue stick to aim at the, mm. at the corner of the, of the rim of the ball, and you're going to make it every time, mm. as long as it's delivered properly. So that's just why I usually say, you know, which player flinches first, because <laughs> that's what's going to happen on the stroke. You're going to flinch on the stroke, and you will miss it. But he needs one more game. Both players need this game. And we need a bowl of the break. Last break of the match. Now in the final 64, keep in mind, there will be three more games played at least. Six more games played at least. Because they'll play another race to four, or four out of seven. But they're tied at three. It was that cue ball is headed right for the corner and found the other. For the side, it found the corner. Six ball is not tied up. He's, I, you know, I want to say he's had a couple of strange breaks. He didn't catch him good, did he? No, and, 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 and it's just, oh, look at the 210 if he so chooses. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's actually, ma it's quite makeable on yes, this cloth as well because the pockets, because exactly, exactly. we saw that other combination. Just looking at it right now. I think I think it's worth taking off. Uh, especially where he can end up on the two. He's going to end up so perfect on this two. And he can play the two rail first into the ten. Exactly, he'll make it all day. Yeah. I think it's I think it's it's a very high percentage. Yes. I, I, I don't think, I know I'm shooting this ball, but, mm. you know, even from the booth I'm going to shoot this <laughs> ball. And we're, and we're trying to get rail first. On this one, I'll try and hit it straight. Well, rail first gives you a little room for error. Mm. Or yeah, just yeah. rail and ball at the same time. This, uh, it's pretty this close to the rail as well. 
Is it, the only way you can miss is to hit it on the right side. So you want to hit, hit left? left. <laughs> yeah. I think I think I think this is a very high percentage. Uh, I agree, but the two ball is a very long way away, mm. so not too hard to give it more room to accept the puck. He made it. Hit it clean too. Yeah, real clean. No pure. Draws. Pure. Well, James, it was great doing commentary with you. I hope we do it some more. Yeah, I hope so. If you're bored. And um, yeah, we can play a game of one pocket later if you like. Yeah, what are you, you going to give me? <laughs> Why would I? You're the pro player. 11-4? Apparently that's good, isn't it? You, were you smoking five. something at Griff's? I was, yes. <laughs> There's a few too many of those those sponsored rums you, and those, and the those the beers. The days of me giving 11-4 never existed, number one. Uh, or, or I, think it's, I think it's time for 11-4. <laughs> Well, these guys, Aleska is into the final 64. Keen is out of the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for, for tuning in. James Diojardis and myself, George Dejachaf, thanks for tuning in. Thank See you, you guys George. later. Cheers.